One of my really good friends gave me a note that I keep in front of me all the time. If you're not having fun, don't do it. I live my life that way. How about you? Do you ever wake up in the morning and you find yourself wishing for a different way to spend your day or suddenly you're attracting new and different experiences, new and different feelings, people, and you're saying, oh, I like this. Well, what do you do with that? Well, I have a very good friend joining us today who, like me, is everything that I just described. And it's so much fun talking with her because I'm never sure what she's into. But what I know for sure, it's always cool and interesting. And I want to know about it. And so I want to share with you today my friend, Cynthia Lees. Thank you very much for having me back, um, Allie. And, and yes, I am in yet another incarnation, a new pen name, um, a, a name that honors ancestors, um, which is important to my spiritual beliefs and practices. And something that you just said, um, well, okay, so if you find you're not fu having fun, don't do it. I've made a huge spiritual shift in my life over the past four or five years, and especially since following the spiritual practice and reading the teachings every day. Recently, I was on a cruise, and my roommate and I were out and about the first night, and I was interacting with people and having a great time and connecting and connecting and connecting. And we got back to the room and she's like, wow, there was something, I mean, you, wow. And I thought about it and, and I pulled out my prayer book and I said, you know, um, there's a line in here. You can become a person who makes friends easily and is loved by everyone. You'll be able to show compassion to others and give them a smile. And I've been living these teachings, and apparently that's what I have become, and, and I really like it. Do you do affirmations? Do you think that's what's taking you on paths, or is it the paths that are showing you what's confirming them? Either or. Um, at this point, I am not doing affirmations, although I've just found a series of trainings that I may try out for for building affirmations and mantras, and um, I'm excited by that. But I've been just stu studying divine teachings, studying the teachings of the spiritual practice. It's not a religion. Um, and the teachings align with all of the world religions when you go back to the roots where the roots said, love everybody, <laughs> you know, and when you come at it with God is love and, you know, yes, God has put us here with certain intentions and knowing that they're going to be wars and discord and, and that's part of our growth process. And so welcome them, be thankful for them and, and be accepting of, you know, how can I deal with this, not by combating it. I often say that we are the ones we've been waiting for. So we've been on our journeys looking for who can I follow? Who can I follow? But we're the ones who are doing just what you described as we're the leaders for ourselves. This morning, we were we were reading teachings that were penned in the early 1960s about this time is coming, a time in which human history will be rewritten. And the discussion was fascinating, but it also includes let us transform our souls into jewels that follow God's laws. And one person said, you know, I can't, you know, I'm excited for, you know, this new era. And another is like, you know, I can't wait for this to happen. And I'm like, well, that was back in the 1960s. So doesn't it stand to reason that since those times have come, some of us here on this call are those jewels and, and, um, and somebody else pipes in with, well, you know, I know it takes, you know, 
thousands of years and millions of pounds of pressure to make those diamonds. And so that's some of the stuff that we're going through and the struggles that we have, whether they be physical, emotional, or financial, whatever, and to be grateful for those knowing that they could be so much worse. If we weren't going out being God-centered, raising our hands, offering light and love to everybody around us, it would be worse. Yeah, and um, offering light and love to those around us, it's not like we even need to speak it. It's just who we're being. It's in our energy. And uh, for people who didn't listen to my last show, that's what I was talking about. I'm aware that everything that goes on inside me, it's not just me. It's who I'm picking up. And time and distance don't really exist. So who I'm picking up could be on the other side of the world. And and time is now. There is no past and future if you want to get, you know, <laughs> yeah. Cool. I know when we were talking the other day and you were showing me some really, really beautiful books and I know that you're a prolific author and those were really cool books and I was especially interested in the possibilities of focusing everything that you just described toward very young children because the world's so crazy these days and I'm just not aware of enough emphasis going to the spirit, not the religious, but the spiritual side, the heart of that younger generation. The the messages, the, the, the first book in that series, um, they're they are gratitude journals and coloring books and it's a gentle way of building that gratitude muscle by coloring and focusing on gratitude what you're grateful for today and then journaling just about three things and then there's more to the process that teach them to map and change but in the first one the um the prototype that i was building most of the pages they have a little bit of a message like gratitude thank you gratitude for pansies i'm just flipping pages i'm so filled with gratitude i'm so very grateful i mean they're very thank you celebrate with gratitude so it's very and the next iteration um yes okay so the first page i opened simply says gratitude but i am brave i can overcome anything I am confident. I love myself. I am worthy. Thank you. I believe in myself. My spirit resonates with divine harmony. I am enough. Um, so those were, I mean, those aren't religious, but those are getting in touch with the spirit inside. And I'm actually, there are some children's authors I'm aware of who have books like that. And I don't really shop for coloring books often, but I think making it a coloring book, because I know my grandchildren like to color. And I think that takes it inside you and gets the message inside you. Because one thing I'm very aware of is a parent, which I did when my kids were little. Uh, and it's, well, so-and-so gave you a gift. Did you write a thank you note? And that's not instilling anything inside. This way right. like, I'm loving what I'm hearing and seeing that you're doing. Thank you. I, I would love to have, you know, these used with young children. I have some people who have told me they're using them with their niece or their grandchild. In You know, they color one and then the other one colors one. And, and uh, so they share the experience and they talk about it. Which, mm -hmm. Yeah, um, they, I mean, there's so many ways that it could be used. It, 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 what I would teach reading, I mean, if parents read the same books, you know, so if you've got two copies and you each color together and, and I have a friend who wants to do monthly coloring parties with these books to 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 bring, you know, to give people the space to do it together. Um, somebody gave a book to somebody who is on her way to a standard meetup where people brought coloring books to coffee and coloring. Um, 
So, I mean, for adults too. But yes, I would really like to get children to know this. Would you be um, okay? Do you have uh, one handy so we could see some of the pages so people can get an idea of... Um, okay, this was my trial pages of the same one, Be Grateful. Um, and I liked how when this other person did it, she added more words about what was going on with her. You know, be grateful for helping others, for receiving, for alignment, health and wellness, recreation. Fine, you know, so I mean, she, she did so much more in there. And there's one that I'm very pleased is that same Be Grateful page. And it went across the pond and beyond. And here you have the gratitude message that the person has written. So the idea is that you color for however long it takes you to color. And you think about what you're grateful for for the day. And then here this message is in Farsi. Um, she was so grateful that her daughter had brought this coloring book to her from America to spend time with her before she had uh, surgery. I really love is what you just said when they're coloring it's sinking in without a conscious awareness that that's what's happening. That's like, I, I just think that's brilliant. This is the cover of the initial book, Cultivating Gratitude, my personal mindful coloring book and journal with garden images. And mm -hmm. everything in there is a garden image. And then... Soaring Gratitude, my personal mindful coloring book and journal with wind images. I've got the more advanced messaging. Hmm. How did you find a graphic designer who understands what's in your heart, your intention? I think it's a matter of who you attract. Um, I think I found her on Upwork, oh, for a totally different pen name. She was doing covers, and I was just, I just, we connected more on the heart level. And so I talked to her about, you know, I'd like to do this. And so my book publishing and doing covers is kind of paused because I'm I, I'm focusing here. And, and yeah, I have, I have a cover that I designed myself in a volume one for something by Cynthia Lees that's just this close to being published, and it's not getting there because my attention is elsewhere oh i know about that i remember probably 20 years ago i was thinking well i'll do this activity on monday and tuesday and this other one on say and thursday that doesn't work no on, on our on our daily prayer call um one of the prayer leaders who often who usually opens the call her morning prayer is something about you know Thank you for allowing us another day, you know, to live and serve and go forth in joy. But to, um, we had plans for today. Thank you for all the surprises that you're going to bring us. <laughs> that. Oh, I love that. Wow. Yeah, I'd like to see a poster or at least a, a little poster on that. that mm -hmm. Making notes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, while you're making notes, I want to ask those of you tuning in right now, when you look in the mirror, do you wish that you could have a more vibrant someone staring back at you? What if you could do it so that your own body is regenerating how you used to look, no matter what your age is, and you can do it with no chemicals? Go ahead to the link in the show notes, contact me, and I'll get back to you. Okie dokie. Mm, sounds exciting. I used to spend an hour putting each of my kids to sleep at night because my son, we talk about his dreams. So I was especially fascinated by the, um, the soar in the dreams because I wrote him a song about his soaring and flying because that was one of the things he wished for. And both my kids are artists, but my daughter, she's a great artist now, but when she was little, she didn't care about lines. She didn't care about normal colors. She just did what was inside her. So even if it's integrate, intricate, the kids are going to do what's in their heart. And for the parent to let them be free, it would probably free up the parent 
or the grandparent. And I just think that's such a gift to give the world. And I just want to stay current with where people can get all that stuff from you. Where they can get the um, coloring book journals is on Willow Sage's author central page. That is the best way if people want to follow you to stay au courant with whatever you're doing. Because if you've been sticking with us through our, our adventure here today, you know Cynthia is somebody you want to keep track of because she's always into something that's really, really cool. Okay, I would say at this point, the best place to find me is on Facebook. That sounds really great. I'm very grateful that you came on last minute and just went with me. I, I, yeah, I'm so grateful for the opportunity. So let me just say that. Thank you for joining us here today for a special show of Let's Get Metaphysical, Connecting Heart and Mind. I'm Reverend Allie Bierman, and you can join our Facebook group where you can make new friends, get the extras I put in there, and please tell me who you are, where you're calling for, listening or watching from. And I really appreciate your going to our show page where you can listen to or watch any episode we're well over a hundred now also really really look forward to knowing who you are and supporting us so that we can keep going and when you do that you get to join me for a live video call every month and the link for that and all the others are in the show notes remember that audible has a free trial for you and when you click my link also in the show notes you can choose the audiobook of your choice and take a 30 whole days to look around the site it's a phenomenal site i spend lots and lots of time there because i have a huge library and i get to have lots of free books in my membership so most important thing to do is enjoy that's capital i n capital j o y every moment because nothing in your life happens outside of you you hear smell taste touch all within and i look forward to being with you next time